show you how to back up your iPhone directly to your MacBook or iMac. Not using iTunes, okay? So first thing you gotta do is go ahead and open up your Finder. So my Finder is over here, so let me open this up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and plug our iPhone in, okay? And then once we plug it in, we should find our iPhone. It should be under here under Locations, okay? If you have, the, under Locations, if you don't have nothing there, click on the little down arrow, okay? So I see MacBook and Macintosh down here. So let me go ahead and plug in my phone now. Let's plug it in and let me go ahead and sign in. And now voila, you can see my iPhone just popped up right there. If your iPhone doesn't pop up, try a different cable. Also, if you have a battery case like I did, you gotta take it off, okay? Anyway, mine found it. I'm gonna click on iPhone right there. Give this one second. And now we got this window here. And the only thing I do to back up is if I want to restore, I just go right here, restore iPhone, okay? But anyway, I'm gonna back this up. And what I do is I go up, I check this, back up all data on your iPhone to this Mac. You gotta make sure you have enough space on here as well. And I do encrypt local backup. Encrypted backups protect passwords and sensitive personal data, okay? So from here, I'm gonna click on backup now. I'm gonna click that right there. Going to get the status bar. It's going to go ahead and turn, keep changing, and I get. I need to trust this computer. So let me put in my passcode. There we go. Now I got about 250 gigs on this phone. This is going to take me about like eight minutes. So let's just be patient now. So you're going to get this looking status bar for a little, a little while, and then it's going to change it where you're going to see it's going to move all the way up, and then it's going to turn back to this again. So you just got to be patient. So it's still working here, and my phone is locked, but it's still working, so just wait. Now it changes this status bar, and once it goes all the way up, it'll turn back into the gray and white bars again. Okay, now it changes back to the gray and white bars. And there we go, and we're done, okay? Now, anytime you want to restore it back, you know, you can just go ahead, same uh, area in Finder, and then this time you want to click on Restore iPhone, okay? So you can restore your uh, iPhone that you, that you backed up, or you can get a new iPhone or different iPhone and put all your information onto that new iPhone, okay? And that's it. You're ready to rock and roll. Other questions or issues, comment below. Good luck.